Welcome back to another video. My name is Gordon Frayne, and today we're diving into a price prediction for Filecoin. As always, before we jump into the content, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button below if you enjoy the content. Hit that subscribe button as well. We're on the road to our first 1,000 subscribers, and it would mean the world if you hit subscribe. And hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified every time we drop a new video. We're dropping videos pretty much every single day on the channel and you're going to want to get notified to stay up to date on the rapidly evolving crypto space and hit your crypto goals. So let's dive into our price prediction for Filecoin for the middle to end of 2025. And as always, when we do price predictions on the channel, we're first going to look at Filecoin through the lens of these five different pillars before making our price prediction in the second half of the video. So make sure to stick around until the end. So we're going to look at fundamentals first, followed a little bit by narratives. We'll take a brief look at the technical analysis, followed by the team, and then finally the tokenomics before we jump into our price prediction. So what is Filecoin at a fundamental level? Well, it is a blockchain solution focusing on decentralized storage designed to store humanity's most important information. And if you actually come over to their website and go to the homepage, they've got a very nice little animation that they run you through in order to kind of go through this um, this history and this problem of decentralized storage um, and how they're creating a new solution for decentralized storage because the centralization of server storage around the world at the moment is allocated and controlled by a small number of companies and information is too centralized so you can come over to the filecoin website and check that out yourself it's a nice little um run through of visualizing where all these centralized servers and storage reside in the current day so if we come back and think about what this actually means well what they're trying to do is create a network for data storage and retrieval in a decentralized fashion so a powerful and dynamic distributed cloud storage network for your data and i think as we move on to the narratives we're going to see here how there is a pretty big market for this type of service and the market today in a centralized world is mainly controlled by some of the largest tech corporations that we know and are familiar with like amazon for example so amazon web services is this um kind of behemoth in the um in the storage world at the moment with amazon web services and amazon s3 and what we're seeing here in this graph is kind of a visual representation of how um how the price of storage scales down when we use it in a decentralized manner so with solutions like filecoin what we're seeing here is that monthly storage costs per terabyte of data with a decentralized solution like Filecoin are only about 19 cents versus $23 per terabyte of storage that we see today with centralized solutions like Amazon S3. So Filecoin are really trying to position themselves as a leader in this decentralized storage world where prices are infinitely smaller, much more cost effective when we leverage decentralized networks and decentralized storage solutions like Filecoin uh, and some of these others to actually store and then retrieve our data. So as we move towards a more decentralized world and as we get um, more ingrained with different blockchains and with Web3, I think we're going to be seeing a pivot towards more decentralized storage and more solutions like Filecoin offering much more cost effective means for decentralized data storage and retrieval. So really kind of holding in on this decentralized storage narrative, as well as decentralized physical infrastructure, which is, again, basically what Filecoin are trying to hone in on, this idea that there is physical infrastructure distributed across the entire planet that we could be tapping into to significantly reduce storage costs when it's done via a decentralized network like Filecoin. They do have some other use cases they call out on their website, like um, payments, like timestamping and store of value. Now, again, 
it's debatable how how relevant these use cases are or how much attention we should pay to them when it comes to actual narratives but the decentralized storage play is obviously the biggest one here when it comes to the narratives for filecoin and these other use cases are tangential use cases based on people actually using the network so moving on to the technical analysis we're just going to take a brief look at this and what we saw was filecoin launching in 2021 um tw sorry end of 2020 in the run-up to the previous bull cycle and we did see a large increase in price all the way up to about 185 dollars the story of Filecoin from a price perspective is definitely a fall from grace and we did see it move all the way down to a price of $2.50 around that for a low at the end of 2022 there, start of 2023. So from $185 all the way down to $2.50, that is a crazy, crazy price drop. However, most of the market was declining in this time, but Filecoin definitely retraced more than most. We did see, you know, kind of some consolidation throughout the year of 2023. And then finally, at the end of 2023, in line with the rest of the market, we did see a bounce for Filecoin and we did see it start to move with some upwards price trajectory at the end of Q3, uh, middle, sorry, middle of Q2, end of Q3, 2023. And since that kind of middle of 2023 range we did see filecoin up about 109 percent to today's prices it was up over 150 percent a couple of weeks ago before we saw the latest market dip however um it's up about 109 percent probably up a little less than market average you know we've seen the entire altcoin market continue to move upwards since q4 2023 however the market average is probably somewhere closer to 150 200 percent so I would say Filecoin is slightly behind market average, but it is moving upwards since the end of last year. Moving on to their team, again, I'm not familiar with many of these people, being completely honest, but they do call out a number of uh, key people here on their website, uh, on the board of directors and with the Filecoin Foundation. They've also got a, um, in their own words, an extraordinary and accomplished group of advisors so we can see those here on their website. Again, if you want to dive into these people for more detail, feel free to do so. But I think at a fundamental level, they're trying to really attack this problem of decentralized storage. And if it can truly be, you know, a fraction of the cost of AWS and Amazon S3, then there is definitely a big market for this in the near future. Finally, looking at the tokenomics, this is where we run into a little bit of trouble for Filecoin because... If we break it down, we can see that previously Filecoin was hitting um, market cap all-time highs of around 11.6 billion when we were seeing those all-time highs at the beginning of April 2021. We are currently sitting at a market cap of only 3.3 billion, so we're still about 3 to 4x down from all-time high market cap. We're also sitting at a price today of about $6.12. Um... The other important thing to call out here is the circulating supply. And we are sitting at a circulating supply today of around 543 million Filecoin out of a total possible supply of about 1.96 billion Filecoin. So um, if we look at the historical snapshot from Filecoin in the month of April when it was putting in those previous all-time highs, this is where we see the full extent of the token dilution that has happened since April 2021 to the present day. And in the past three years, we've seen the circulating supply go from 64 million Filecoin all the way to 543 million Filecoin in circulation. That is an increase of 745% more tokens in circulation today, three years on from April 4th, 2021. So again, this is very important when it comes to our price prediction because we have to factor in the increase in token supply when it comes to making our price prediction because at the end of the day, our price prediction is based on the fact that our circulating supply times price per coin gives us our overall market cap. 
So this is a very important factor and 745% increase is massive compared to a lot of the other tokens on the market. So once again, just to recap that, market all-time highs were 11.86 billion. We're currently sitting at a 3.3 billion overall market cap for Filecoin. Circulating supply at its previous all-time high was 64 million, while today we're sitting at 543 million, which is a 745% increase. For the sake of our price prediction, what we're going to assume here is that there will be about 600 million file coin tokens in circulation by the middle to end of 2025. Again, this is the time frame where we estimate the peak of the bull cycle to be occurring during the next 12 to 18 months. Finally, the last thing we're going to look at before making our price prediction is the market dominance for Filecoin versus the rest of the cryptocurrency market. We're currently sitting at a 0.14% market dominance. We did see much better market dominance even at the beginning of 2023 when Filecoin was way down in terms of price. We were still seeing it at a 0.33% market dominance. And all the way back in April, May of 2021, when I was putting in those previous all-time highs, we did see it up as high as a 0.65% market dominance. Again, this is another important variable in our price prediction equation. We do have to make certain assumptions when it comes to making our price prediction, but that is why we look at some of these details so that we can make our best guesses when it comes to plugging in potential market cap dominance for Filecoin along with those other variables. So let's dive into our price prediction. And as always, we're gonna give you a bear case, base case and bull case scenario. Again, we do have to make certain assumptions here. So please understand that there are variables at play. So for total crypto market cap, what we're saying is the overall crypto market cap could reach a peak around 4 trillion US dollars if Filecoin can move back up and achieve about a 0.2% market dominance, that would give it an 8 billion US dollar overall market cap. And then dividing that by the 600 million file tokens we estimate to be in circulation at the middle to end of 2025 gives us a price target of about $13.33, which is a 2.2x from today's prices. Moving on to our base case scenario, what we're saying is the total crypto market cap could reach around 6 trillion US dollars. If Filecoin gets back up to a 0.4% market dominance, that would give it an overall market cap of $24 billion. And again, dividing that by 600 million file tokens gives us a 40 US dollar price target, which is about a 6.53x from today's prices. Again, you will notice that even though these prices are way lower than its previous all-time highs of, you know, closer to $185, the overall market cap here is more than double its previous all-time high market cap. And again, that's the important thing here because we've got, we're going to have over 800% more tokens in circulation by middle to end of 2025. Finally, our most bullish case scenario is for a total crypto market cap of 8 trillion US dollars. If Filecoin can back, get back up to those 0.6% market dominance levels, that would give it a $48 billion overall market cap. And once again, dividing it by 600 million file tokens gives us an 80 US dollar price target, which is about a 13X from today's prices. Again, $80 is still $100 below its previous all-time high token price. But once again, we do have 750 to 800% more tokens in circulation. So the price just has to do so much more work to get, you know, up to the same levels it was at in the previous cycle. So let us know what you think. Are you a long-term Filecoin holder? Are you bullish on Filecoin yourself? Honestly, I think the narrative of decentralized physical infrastructure and decentralized storage could continue to evolve and get even stronger over the next 12 to 18 months. I think the the amount of mindshare that that narrative can capture will play a big role in the success of Filecoin over the next 12 to 18 months. But it truly is positioned as one of the leaders in the decentralized storage narrative. And you know, if they can truly tackle and take some market share from AWS and Amazon S3, that is a very big market and market share they could achieve.
As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button below. Drop a comment on the video. It would be much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon as well so you can get notified every time we drop a new video. If you want to see more price predictions just like this, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.